Hello, everyone. I hope all of you are doing super well and super great like you always do. Welcome, welcome to Student Tech. Welcome if you are new here. I am Lakshata. And welcome back. If you are all lectures, dent kar rahe, because good for you, exams are there. How will you get good marks in the exams? Let's take lectures and take all the important questions from us. Isn't it? So actually, you got so many important questions. I am hoping that you guys are writing all the questions, making questions back. If not, we are learning. You got so many experts, experts, faculties, so many different areas. You are learning everything. You are giving important, important secret, secret tips. And if you don't utilize it, then what will be the benefit? Right? So today, we are yet again back with another super interesting lecture on a very interesting topic. I mean, this is honestly one of my favorite subjects too. I get confused that this is science or is it geography? Because there's so much in there. So I'm going to talk about this topic. Because there's so much in there. So today we are going to have, as I already told it, and as you can already see in the description and the title that we have a very nice geography lecture that is going to happen today. But before the lecture, you know the drill. Sabko pata hai ab, isn't it? Like, share, subscribe. Agar aapne abhi ta ki link apne friends ke saath nahi share kara hai, to mujhe pata hai ki aap logo ko ye saare lectures khud jaane apne friends ko nahi batane. Magar aisa nahi karna chahiye. We should tell about these lectures to everyone because we are here to create a good community, a learning community. So jaldi se ye link share kari apne friends ke saath. Aur jab tak aap log ye link share karenge, tab tak main aapko स्क्रीन शेयर करके बताती हूँ। ओके, सो टुडे व्हाट वील बी डिस्कसिंग इस सर्टेन टाइप्स इस हाउ एक्चुअली अर्थ वाज मेड, व्हाट आर द जॉग्राफिकल बाउंड्रीज एंड एवरीथिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद समथिंग दैट इस कॉल्ड वॉल्कैनोस। ओके, सो जस्ट गिव मी वन क्विक मिनट, लेट मी जस्ट स्ट� so, we will see first of all how the student application looks like. I have a lot of applications. So, this is what Octopod Studenting looks like. Okay, so when you go here and click here, you have to type your registered mobile number. And after that, your ID will open. And after that, if you have a अगर आपका रजिस्टर नहीं होगा तो ओटीपी आ जाएगा जैसे अभी उसमें पूछ रहे थे मगर मेरा रजिस्टर्ड है राइट उसके बाद यहाँ पे नीचे आपको इस स्टूडेंट वर्ल्ड करके सेक्शन दिख रहा है सो आपको यहाँ स्टूडेंट वर्ल्ड वाले सेक्शन पे जाना सो जब आप स्टूडेंट वर्ल्ड वाले सेक्शन पे जाएंगे सो आज गीतांजलि मैम का लेक्चर है गीतांजलि मैम का लेक्चर है उसमें मैम ऑलरेडी दे आर बीन सो मेनी व्यूज सो मेनी लाइक्स है ना एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम फैसिनेटिंग थिंग्स अबाउट जोग्राफी, राइट? उसके बाद यहाँ पे भी हैं वाउचर्स, वाउचर्स अबाउट केक्स, अबाउट पिज़्ज़ास, अबाउट गिफ्ट्स, कितने सारे कितने सारे वाउचर्स हैं हमारे पास? किस किस ने वाउचर्स यूटिलाइज करें? किसी ने जाके डिस्काउंट कूपन लिया है कि नहीं लिया? मैंने लिया है, मैंने लंदन यार्ड पिज़्ज़ा � अच्छा उसके बाद we have all these amazing courses so as I have been telling you कि ये सारे courses आपके खुद के teachers ने बनाए हैं and because ये सारे courses आपके खुद के teachers ने बनाए हैं इसके अंदर जितना भी information है जितने भी questions हैं वो सारी चीजें बहुत important हैं from the exam point of view so अगर आपके पास reward points हैं तो आप उसे आराम से reward points that is octo cash उसके through purchase कर सकते हैं otherwise ये twenty five rupees का so it's not something very costly मगर let's not get into the monetary part of it let's make sure कि अपन reward points के through ही वो चीज purchase करें right because उसके लिए फिर मम्मा पापा के पास नहीं जाना पड़ेगा ना फिर आप अपने आप कर सकते then comes all these expert classes जिसके अंदर आपको extra knowledge मिलेगा about different subjects okay so ये advanced courses हैं जिसे पढ़के समझ के आप लोग और ज़्यादा knowledge gather कर सकते हैं और अपना जैसे ये spoken English है या English one on one है so you can enhance your abilities through it and you can enhance your abilities. And then we have all these categories in which you can get all the free videos. So in which you can get all the focused free videos. If you want to dwell in any area, you are interested in some area, then 
सो वहां जाके आप इन कैटेगरीज के अंदर उस चीज से रिलेटेड फोकस्ड वीडियो आप देख सकते हैं ओके सो नाउ दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दी एप्लीकेशन आई होप कि आप सब इसे यूटिलाइज करना जल्दी जल्दी शुरू करें ओके एंड टुडे वी हैव विद अस गीतांजलि मैम गीतांजलि मैम हैज अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस शी हरसेल्फ इज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ग्रेट ज्योग्राफीज ऑफ इंडिया एंड टुडे शी इज गोइंग टू टीच यू ज्योग्राफी ओके सो गीतांजलि मैम इज एन एक्सपर्ट विद किड्स and she has a very cute kid herself also so without any further ado gitanjali ma'am over to you thank you lakshita hello kids good afternoon to all of you and uh, my name is gitanjali as lakshita has already introduced and today i would be talking about the subject geography and before i start off with geography uh, i would want to address you a question few weeks ago a few days before the weather condition was different hame din mein garmi kam lagti thi raat ko bahut sardi lagti thi and we used to wear uh, sweaters Uh, हम ब्लैंकेट लेके सोते थे पर अभी वो चेंज हो गया है सो वॉट डू यू थिंक इज अ रीजन बिहाइंड दिस चेंज ऑफ द वेदर कंडीशन वाई वाई इज दिस हैपनिंग सो इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज बिकॉज देर आर एनवायरमेंटल चेंजेस हैपनिंग अराउंड अस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन geographical factors this change is happening in our on our earth so the weather changes happen the climate changes happen and some of you already know why this is happening some of you who don't know why this weather change is happening why the climate has changed jo pehle sardi tha abhi achanak se kyu garmi ho gayi hai so if you want to know about this thing uh, you can attend this session and know why things happen on this earth so the topic of our discussion today is geography so i welcome you all to this platform and thank you studenting for giving me this opportunity so first we start with the word geography what is geography now geography is a uh, if you uh, if you see it as a, a english word it means geography और इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज की एक खासियत है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश आर डिराइव फ्रॉम अदर लैंग्वेजेस दैट इज ग्रीक एंड लैटिन सो इन द वर्ड जियोग्राफी आई विल जस्ट शो यू so as you can see the word geography consists of two words geo and graphy and the root word here is geo which is derived from the greek language and geo means earth so english mein kafi sare aise words hain jo dusre language se aaye hain basically greek and latin and this particular word geography has come from the greek word geo which means earth and graphy meaning the description of the earth or anything that describes our earth okay now when i say earth uh, what is the idea and image that comes to your mind किसी को भी अर्थ के बारे में पूछे तो वो क्या बोलेगी कि हमारी अर्थ जो है वो गोल है द अर्थ इज राउंड एंड इट इज लाइक अ बॉल यू कैन सी दिस बॉल एंड वी इमेजिन द अर्थ इज राउंड बट इट इज नॉट सो इन मोस्ट ऑफ द बुक्स इट इज रिटर्न द अर्थ इज राउंड इन शेप बट इन रियालिटी वेन साइंटिस्ट है 
explored and discovered, they have found that the shape, the actual shape of the earth is not round. So what is the actual shape of the earth? So if you see, this is the actual shape of the earth. It is not a perfect ball. It's not a perfect round shape. It's not a perfect sphere. Lekin, jo middle wala hissa hai, jo iska center wala hissa hai, wo thora sa ubra hua hai. It's a bit, I can't do it on this ball, but if you see in the image here, the center of the earth, is bulging out. It is not a perfect ball. It's not round in shape. It is flat at the top. Ye upar se agar hum is ball ko daba de dono taraf se, upar se aur niche se, to iska jo ye beach wala hissa hai, wo peet ki taraf nikal aega. And that is actually the shape of the earth. Okay? So the our earth is not a perfect sphere or a round ball. It is actually ob oblong oblong in the sense ye beach wala hissa jo hai wo ubha hua hai okay so coming back coming back to geography so today we'll be discussing about earth about the earth and as i told you So we'll be studying about the earth. So what is geography? So geography ka jo definition hai, which is given in our books, it is about the study of the earth. And what does the earth consist of? It consists of land and water. And the different forms of land which exist on its surface. Now, what is the most interesting thing about the earth? Although we say uh, in geography, we study about the land, the earth form, the most interesting thing about the earth is that just like this bottle, if you see this bottle of water, uh, it's not full and it is not half, it's three fourths of water. So in the same way, the earth is also having 70, more than 70% water. And the large oceans and seas of the earth has a lot of life inside them, in, inside the sea, inside the land, uh, inside the water bodies. We have a lot of uh, life existing. So there is life on earth, on the land, as well as in the water. And the proportion of land and water is 70 is to 30. 70% of the Earth form is water and 30% or so is land on which we are living. So uh, the people who study geography, they are called geographers. The people who study the subject of geography, they are called geographers and they have defined a geography as um, something which we learn about countries, their crops, landforms and people. Now, uh, in our school books, uh, mostly when we start off with geographies, we study about our country, the state, and its capital. But geography is much more. It's not just about uh, the political uh, as environment of this earth, of this world. It is also about the relationship which exists between the different landforms. Now, what is the different landforms that you see around you? Uh, take, for example, India. In India, we have the high mountains, the Himalayas. We have the deserts in the Rajasthan, the Thar Desert, the Great Indian Desert. We have the smaller mountains, the high hills in the Aravalli uh, area of uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat. And we also have the Ghat section 
in the western ghat and the eastern ghat that is in the southern part of india and uh, what else do we have what else uh, different landforms do we have in india we have the plateau the deccan plateau jo south ka hissa hai the southern part of india it has a landform called plateau which is nothing but a high table land now uh, i uh, stay here in ahmedabad so ahmedabad is a low altitude place which is almost 100 feet above the sea level but when you go to the north the himalayas it's thousands of feet above the sea level almost 8000 feet or maybe 12000 feet and that is the altitude of a place in in the south uh, maybe chennai has a very low altitude which is uh, just like ahmedabad but hyderabad or bangalore they are in the plateau and they are at a very high altitude so uh, the altitude of the place also affects the climate and weather now today i started this session talking about the change in weather Uh, अभी हमें गर्मी लग रही है वेदर चेंज हो रहा है धूप ज्यादा है रात को भी गर्मी लगती है तो व्हाई इज दिस हैपनिंग नाउ दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ मेनी रीजन वन रीजन इज बेसिकली जियोग्राफी द अर्थ एंड द अदर रीजन इज आल्सो द एनवायरनमेंट मीन्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड अस Uh, we say because of the pollution and lot of uh, deforestation uh, the heat is increasing and we are feeling hot or maybe the cold is increasing and we are feeling cold so something which was believed to be a natural cause and effect has changed into a man made cause and effect now uh, when i'm talking to you about geography uh, i would like to make a statement here which is also called a disclaimer a disclaimer in the sense main aapko jo bhi sikha rahi hu bata rahi hu wo maine jo padha hai suna hai samjha hai wo aapko bata rahi hu aur ye baatein aage ja ke change bhi hoti hai now you may ask why will this change like when i was studying india had only 26 states but today it has 28 maybe 29 it will go on increasing or changing or it may become less it may become more in the same way in the same way when i told you that the earth is round uh, in the beginning hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago maybe when uh, people started you know studying and education for high likhai to shuru hua tha observation shuru hua tha people believe that the earth is not round but actually a flat surface so kai uh, for many years people believe that the earth is not round but it's flat जैसे ये शीट ऑफ पेपर है हमारे धरती जो है बिल्कुल ऐसे फ्लैट है तो बहुत सालों तक लोगों ने ये बिलीव किया कि अर्थ इज फ्लैट फिर आफ्टर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर साइंस मेड डिस्कवरी पीपल मेड एफर्ट इंटेलिजेंस यू नो डिस्कवर थिंग्स एंड वी फाउंड आउट दैट द अर्थ इज राउंड एंड टूडे एज आई टोल्ड यू द अर्थ इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट राउंड बट इट इज यू नो बल्ज इन द मिडिल एंड इट इज flat a bit pressed and flat on the top and bottom so uh, and in the beginning uh, people believe that our earth is the center of the universe and it is fixed matlab uh, we are fixed and the sun moon and other heavenly bodies are moving around the earth but again science and intelligence have made the discovery that this fact is not true Uh, earth is not stationary uh, the earth is moving around the sun as you must have read in your books and it is also rotating on its axis which is this way now because of this rotation and because of the revolution going around the sun a lot of things are happening in our uh, lives in this uh, system uh, which is the solar system so uh, as i told you uh, today i am teaching you certain things about the earth which is believed to be true and discoveries in future and intelligence in future may prove it to be otherwise it may not be wrong but it may be proven otherwise like maine school mein jo padhai kiya tha to the solar system has nine planets but today pluto is has been removed as one of the planet because of its properties and characteristics and the solar system consists of only eight planets so 
uh, hopefully whatever i have understood and learned about geography uh, will is true and will remain true for a long time and you should keep your minds open that new information may come in at a future date and things may be may be proven otherwise okay so going back to our topic we were talking about geography so what is geography so this is the definition of geography geography is the study of our earth that is the land form and as i told you the land is only 30% or so of our earth more than 70% is actually water and what exists on this land people we don't study about animals by the way we don't study about the other living things we study about the people and geography is concerned with people what people do how people live their life and uh, it's about all the people the different types of people aisa nahi ki sirf iske bare mein padhenge aur iske bare mein nahi padhenge jo bhi living uh, people hai across this planet we study about their activities their condition and how they have evolved and how, what is the relationship that they share with each other and the nature okay so this is the study of geography all right now to the so uh, as i told you hundreds uh, thousands of years ago uh, people believed that the world was the earth was flat it was not round so who was the first person to turn the coin of uh, term a uh, coin the term uh, geography his name was eratosthenes eratosthenes so eratosthenes he was a greek philosopher and he use the word geography first and it is described as a science which is devoted to the study of the land the features the inhabitants the inhabitants matlab the people the people living on this land form and the phenomena of the earth and planets that's the connection the uh, the relation what is happening the attract uh, the solar system mein jitne bhi planets hai with the sun so whatever is happening with them that is the study of geography so it is a very wide and a very broad range of study and uh, because of its scope it has many branches so let's see what are the branches of geography one of the branch of geography is human geography which is uh, exclusively dealing with the condition of the people the human the human beings and uh, because people live in societies so they have their communities and every society has their own traditions and culture and they do some activities and these activities are called the economies of the society and also what relation they have with the surrounding environment just say how indians hai we live in a country which is mainly agricultural people in india um has their occupation the main source of livelihood is farming so it's a agriculture primarily agricultural country because of the quality of the land the quality of the soil the weather conditions and uh, the interest of the people india is a agricultural country but slowly it is changing its dynamics from agriculture to a service based country uh i mean uh if i give you a choice uh, what would you choose doing uh, most of you may opt out of agriculture and choose doing something else so the dynamics of indian uh, uh, geography and political condition economic condition is changing so uh, one branch of geography is the human geography which where we discuss and we understand learn and study about the behavior of the human beings uh, in relation with the environment they are living with the land form and the other branch is the physical geography where we exclusively study about the natural environment now what is in the natural environment the land the land forms yeah, whether it's a, a plateau or a mountain or a plain or or a valley so that is the natural environment where we study its forms its characteristics matlab uh, what happened how it happened what are its uh, Uh, features so that is the natural environment of a place and when we talk about the earth 
so when we talk about the earth uh, and we say that geography is the study of the land forms now the earth um, has lot of air above it and that air that space that uh, the, the, the there are what you call the zones so it uh, geography studies not only what is on the earth but also what is around the earth that is called the atmosphere so hum abhi geography ka jo subject hai wo sirf world land ke upar simit nahi rakh rahe hai hum beyond the earth the environment the atmosphere is also included in geography okay okay so if i if i show you this earth and you know break it up uh, in, try to show what is inside uh, we cannot break the earth but what i try to show what is inside the earth so what you will see is on the surface of the earth you can see the land forms and the water forms so the land forms are here green in color and the water forms are blue in color and as, and as you can see as i told you the proportion of land is just 30% and the proportion of water is 70% or more so this is the the outer surface consist of the land bodies and the water bodies so what is under the surface what is niche uh, kya hai so there are different layers and there are different levels and as you go deeper and deeper towards the center of the earth the center of the earth is very different from the surface of the earth so the surface of the earth is solid like you have uh, rocks you have mud you have soil and it is cooler matlab it becomes hot because of the sun rays but otherwise it is cooler but as you go deeper inside deeper i mean to the center of the earth to the core of the earth so what is inside the center of the earth inside the center of the earth you have the hot molten lava so in the uh, teaser you saw that we'll talk about volcanoes of course we'll talk about volcanoes later so what happens in certain places of the surface of the earth there are some weak points the plates are uh, you know they are always moving and they are sliding and because of these weak points the pressure from inside the earth pushes the hot molten lava outside and that causes the eruption of the volcano hindi mein jisko jwalamukhi bolte hain so the center of the earth is very hot now how to explain to you about this uh if your mother makes uh, hot samosas or pakoras uh and she puts it on your plate after frying it um uh, after few seconds or few minutes you can hold the pakora or samosa thing and feel that it has cooled down it has become cold and you can uh, you know hold it with your fingers but when you bite it and put it in your mouth you burn yourself now why does this happen because the outside the outer surface has cooled but the inside is still hot so when you eat that hot pakora or samosa you burn yourself in the same way our earth was actually a hot ball just like the sun um it is believed that uh, it's actually a part of the sun which has uh, you know uh, blast there was a big blast big bang theory long back and uh, because of the millions of years and billions of years which has you know past the cooling happened and because of the cooling the outer surface has solidified and become rocks and soil but the inner surface the center is still hot and it will take i don't know i cannot estimate the million of year, millions of years it will take but maybe it will cool down in a certain point of time but as of now the center of the earth is in its original form jo hamara uh, earth ka original form hai wo kaha dikhta hai it is in the center of the earth which is hot molten lava like it's very hot and it's very rich in minerals and that's the original form of the earth so whenever there is a volcano uh, it comes out and after cooling it takes many many days to cool down that lava and when the lava cools down 
uh, the scientists they go there and they examine and they find that it consists a lot of of lot of minerals which are very rich so the original form of the earth is what you see in this picture the molten form and over millions of years it started cooling down and after cooling it solidified and it became the land masses and a lot of things happened in between uh, which i would like to share maybe later so that's just an overview i'm giving you right now and uh, so coming back to uh, geography what is geography uh, we discussed that geography talks about the landforms and the human behavior and the human activities with those landforms okay and who was the first person to use the word geography he was a greek astronomer uh, sorry a greek philosopher and his name was eratosthenes okay and i i just spoke to you about share screen one minute you when we when we talk about the earth the earth is not just the land form it is also the hydrosphere atmosphere biosphere and geosphere so hamare land land form ke upar jo levels hai altitudes hai uh, unko divide kiya gaya hai into first is the atmosphere which is immediately above our earth above our earth bole to from the sea level from the land level okay that is called the atmosphere and above the atmosphere is now what happens in the atmosphere hum atmosphere mein rehte hai jo high uh, high rise buildings hai tall buildings hai skyscrapers hai burj khalifa hai wo sab atmosphere mein hi hai okay now what is beyond the atmosphere you have the hydrosphere now what happens in the hydrosphere you see this planes flying the jet planes and the fighter planes and uh, supersonic planes so all these planes they fly very high above our earth and that sphere that space that place that altitude that height is called hydrosphere and it's nothing but the area surrounding the earth okay outside outside bole to altitude height pe and above that sorry below that you have uh the biosphere and then you have the geosphere okay so these are the different levels which are above the landform of the earth now i would like to show you uh the different branches of geography so these are the different branches of geography uh if you decide to study geography for your higher studies after your school or college then this is what geography covers you have cultural geography economic geography political geography climatology and geomorphology so these are different branches of geography which has come up in today's world so that people can study them accordingly okay and if you see that they have connections with other uh, uh, science and other subjects so the other subjects which are interconnected with geography are economics where we have the economic geography then you have anthropology where you have the cultural geography then it is also connected with biology because geography studies about human human beings so it is the biogeography and then geomorphology which is about geology geology is something else it studies about what is under the earth the soil form and everything else there's a different uh, department accordingly and then you have meteorology meteorology is about the study of the weather conditions the climatic changes the atmospheric pressure and all those things so that uh, branch of geography has been defined as climatology and this division has been done so that people can you know uh, study and specialize on those topics okay
so i uh, try to show you the original form so this is how uh, the surface of the earth is outside and then as you go deeper inside towards the center of the earth it is very hot so that is called the inner core then after, before above that you have the outer core then you have the mantle and we live on the crust the outer form of the earth okay and as i discussed in the beginning the shape of the earth which is not a perfect sphere but you know it is bulging out at the center and this is the shape of the earth and as you can see from the color the blue color is dominant on the globe so why what is the purpose of this blue color it it is to show that the oceans and the seas the water bodies that consists more than 70% of the earth now the shape of the earth is round but we have seen flat maps now the study of maps or cartology is also a part of geography uh, that is also a part of geography and here what you can see on your screen is the round globe has been laid flat on a table just like a sheet of paper and when you you know put this ball as a flat sheet on the paper what do you get you get the ball as a flat map in reality the earth is not flat it is a big round sphere and as you can see on the flat sir, uh, flat map the blue water bodies are dominant that is more than 70% of our earth is water and what you can see in other colors is the landform other landforms the different lands the different continents of the world now we'll discuss about the continents in uh, our later sessions and this is the political map of the world in the political map of the world you can see the white part as the water bodies the oceans and the seas of the world and the colorful part are the different countries there are hundreds of countries in the world and these countries belong to their respective continents and I try to locate india here so that green triangle this peninsula that's india and we are in a continent called asia so these are the landforms of the earth and this is called the political map of the earth uh, in the political map you see the different countries the names of the oceans and the seas and also the capital of the country now the study of the capital and the names of the countries their population the whole dem demography of the country that is also a part of geography and the study of map if you have to go somewhere if you have to travel somewhere you need directions you need maps you need location so that is also a branch of geography okay and uh, now there's one more information i would like to share about it uh, the earth the earth is not sitting straight on in space it is tilted a bit like it is not like this it is tilted at an angle of 23 and half degree so wo seedha nahi baitha hai hamara jo prithvi hai wo seedha nahi baitha hai wo thoda aise jhuk ke baitha hua hai you know uh, in a slanting position and because of that slant we have the different weather condition the different climate condition the heat and the rain and the wind everything and the rotation of the earth and the revolution of the earth as a different topic uh, i'll discuss with you maybe later now before we wind up let me tell you certain interesting characteristics of the earth so everything has certain characteristics so this information is the truth as of now so here you can see the different uh, characteristics of the earth what is the distance of the earth from the sun the distance is measured in kilometers and the unit is au one unit astronomical unit au stands here for astronomical unit which is a very big uh, you know uh, unit number 
so because we cannot keep saying millions and billions repeatedly so scientists they have discovered this term and call it as one astronomical unit which is the distance of the sun and the earth and perihelion is the closest distance to the sun so the astronomy in the astronomical unit you have the perihelion then you have the aphelion which is the farthest distance from the sun uh, because the revolution of the earth sometimes the earth is little closer to the sun and so at other times it is a little farther from the sun so when it is very little closer to the sun it is called perihelion and when it is away from the sun it is called aphelion and because of this perihelion and aphelion we have the summer season and the winter season because of the revolution which we will discuss later okay so as i told you the earth is not sitting straight it is tilted and it is tilted on its axis so you can see the imaginary line running through the center of the earth that is the axis and the earth seems to rotate on its axis wo apni dhuri pe ghoom rahi hai prithvi apni dhuri pe ghoom rahi hai and in english that movement is called the rotation okay and the, uh, the astronomical unit which i dis discussed with you perihelion and aphelion you can see the closest distance of the earth and the sun when we have spring and autumn in this picture uh, one part of the the up, the northern hemisphere when they are having spring the southern hemisphere is having autumn the the side of the earth which is facing the sun they are having a different climate and the side of the earth the part of the earth the other part of the earth which is away from the sun they are facing a other type of climate okay and the the longest the farthest distance from the sun you can see which is the time is in the late december and what happens in late december we have winter because of the long distance from the sun so in summer abhi gar maine shuru kiya tha ki garmi badh rahi hai why is the weather changing because the earth is in this perihelion position so it has come closer to the sun and after 6 months it will go far away from the sun and it will be cold aphelion okay okay so um, today i just started off my session with the earth and geography if you have any uh, comments or queries please put it on the comment section and i hand okay, it you over to you we actually do have a comment Yes, so there was a question from uh, a couple of kids, Deepa and Rekha. So they wanted to know what are per. They have written perils of latitude. I guess you said parallels of latitude. So they wanted to know what are that. Ah, uh, perihelion and aphelion. As I showed in the picture, ah, uh, I'll share the screen again with you. No, I guess they asked what are parallels of latitude. oh which we haven't discussed so far ah, okay i heard the words actually which was mentioned so as i told you um, if this is the earth which is not the perfect shape here i am showing there are some imaginary lines which uh, scientists have uh, coined or they have designed for a better study about the movement and relation of places in the earth so if you if you take this ball if you see this lines this long it long line running from the top to the bottom these are called longitudes to yaad rakhne ke liye jo long lines hai running from the north to the south agar hum ye ball ko aise pakde aur ye north hai aur ye south hai to ye jo imaginary lines hai wo actual mein nahi hote hai ye sirf hamare understanding ke liye uh, you know uh, rakha gaya hai to these imaginary long lines which are running on the sur surface of the earth these are called longitudes and if i draw imaginary flat lines around sleeping lines around the body of the earth like this these are called latitudes jo leta hua hai unko latitudes bolte hain jo khada hua hai unko longitudes bolte hain aur wo actual mein nahi hote hain jaise axis 
अर्थ का एक्सेस एक्चुअल में नहीं होता है क्योंकि अर्थ घूम रहा है टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स मूवमेंट बेटर वी हैव इमेजिन दैट देर इज अ एक्सेस देर इज अ लाइन रनिंग थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ अराउंड विच द अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग जैसे आप लोगों ने ग्लोब में देखा होगा जो आपके स्कूल और क्लासरूम में ग्लोब होता है तो उसमें एक लाइन होता है एक स्टिक ऐसे एक्सेस ऑफ द अर्थ तो दीज आर ऑल इमेजिनरी लाइन सो द लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड लैटिट्यूड आई थॉट ऑफ डिस्कसिंग लेटर बिकॉज दैट कम्स हैंडी फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ द मैप द पॉलिटिकल मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू लोकेट प्लेसेस एंड लैटिट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड आर मेजर्ड इन मिनिट्स एंड सेकेंड नाउ दिस मिनिट्स एंड सेकेंड आर नॉट योर टाइम मिनिट एंड सेकेंड ये घड़ी का मिनिट और सेकेंड नहीं है ये मैप का मिनिट और सेकेंड है डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू प्लेसेस so this latitudes and longitudes divide the earth into different sections and when people travel from one place to another they measure the uh, position of these latitude and longitude points to reach that place so i hope uh, that is answered now longitudes and latitudes are imaginary lines to help us study about the surface of the earth so lakshita ma'am i hope that has answered the question Absolutely. i have not I discussed the topic actually the questions flowing in so i guess yeah. it has sufficed so ma'am you can conclude the session from here in uh, thank you children hope to see you again with all the topics that you have asked for great so we will be having ma'am ka lecture day after tomorrow again so all of those because i am seeing lot of good comments saying it was such an amazing lecture wow and everything so all of those who are who have liked the lecture and all of those who have are yet to see it so give this across to your friends share the link with your friends make sure all of you actually attend such an amazing interesting demonstrative lecture of geography which we held which was taken by ma'am today right and let us make sure that we utilize it to our fullest so day after tomorrow ma'am is again going to have a lecture i hope the attendance stays the same Thank you so much ma'am for all your time it was a pleasure having you and see you soon see you soon thank you